Guess what I'm pretending to be? Mm, caribou! <laughs> That's right, I'm pretending to be a caribou. There we are. There. Pretty nifty little things, huh? huh? With their great big antlers and everything. Yes, caribous. Huh? Sometimes I wish I was a caribou, because then I could go around doing caribou-y things and making caribou-y sounds. Caribou-y! <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? Caribou-y! <laughs> oh, yes, I should get to today's story, shouldn't I? Right? In this tale, Zag also wishes something. He wishes he weren't quite so small. It all started when Zig and Zag and the Snow Hares wanted to see who could make the biggest snowball. Caribou! This is a very big snowball! <laughs> but, but not as big as mine! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Where <laughs> are you? I can't see! Over here! Where are you? I'm right here! Huh? Oh. Hey, look at my snowball. It's huge. Oh, wow. wow. Hey, hey guys, look at the snowball on my head. It's tiny. <laughs> so it's not as big as ours, Zag. We've had more practice making snowballs. I, for one, am an expert. <laughs> oh? And I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> oh, did not. I did too. <laughs> oh, my snowball's way too small. Hey, you're the smallest and the youngest. You'll get better at it real soon. <laughs> Zag might have forgotten about the whole thing, but just then, the bunnies remembered. Well, that was fun, but it's time to go to our job. Your job? Yes, we clean Tigwax's igloo. <laughs> a very messy place, mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Twice a week, we go and clean, sweep, sweep, sweep. <laughs> <laughs> you clean Tigwax's igloo? But why doesn't he do it himself? Oh, his back is very sore. Mm -hmm. Can't work too hard, eh? Yep. So we do it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're very important bunnies, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> da -da. Wait, 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 wait. Can I help? Huh? What? You? Help? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe someday when you're bigger. Off we go. Yeah. Mm, I guess I should go fix the door of my room. Can I help? Uh, it's okay. I can do it myself. Why don't you just stay here and play? Oh. Caribou. What do you think? Do I look more like a caribou this way? Caribou! -y. Hmm? Well, maybe not. But back to our story. Well, Zag didn't like being left out of things just because he was the littlest one. So he decided to work very hard to make himself as big and as fast as he could. He tried doing exercises. He thought maybe zipping around Zig's plump snowball would make him bigger and stronger. Mm. 
that didn't work so well. So he thought maybe he could make himself faster. Mm, faster. He chugged as hard and as fast as he could, giving it his all. Well, Zag Zipping didn't make him bigger or faster, but it did do one thing. It woke Tigwack up. Whoa, what, where, who, when, how? I had nothing to do with it. Ooh, it's you. Good morning. Do you think I'm small? Yes. Uh, was that the right answer? Too small? Too small for what? Mm, stuff. You know, big stuff. Uh, well then, uh, yes. You're, you're too small for big stuff. Mm -hmm. Rats, I knew it. But, uh, who wants to do big stuff? It's mostly all work. <laughs> but I want to help out. Do my duty. <laughs> Consider yourself lucky. I'm so big. Folks are always asking me to help them move all kinds of stuff. <laughs> uh, oh, Mr. Spot. I did. I did not. Did it too. Hey, hey, hey! I just swept. I, I just swept there. But I sweep better. Oh. The bunnies swept and swept. They swept so hard. Soon, a big chunk of ice on a nearby hill began to get loose. And the noise from all their arguing was starting to make it looser and looser. And all that noise caused the ice to break loose. <laughs> Look more like a caribou, huh? Caribou! <laughs> okay, back to the story. The great big chunk of ice beside Tigwack's igloo slid all the way down and got stuck in the door, trapping the bunnies inside. Sika and Tuck didn't like being stuck inside the igloo. How were they going to get themselves out? Well, the first thing they did was to do a lot of hollering! Get us out of here! Get us out of here! Get us out of here! Hello! Somebody! Anybody! <sighs> well, Ziggy heard and came to find out what was going on. Hey, oh. what's all this yelling about? Zach, the door's all blocked up with snow! Yeah! We have other things to do, you know. Like, uh, uh, a snacking, napping, making the biggest snowball ever! And we'd rather do that outside. Okay, well, I'll see what it can do. So, Zig got to work. <laughs> she tried to pull the ice away. <laughs> oh. But that didn't work, and Tuck and Sika were beginning to get cranky. So, Ziggy called Tigwack to help move the huge chunk of ice. Move this great, big, colossal chunk of huge, enormous ice? How? Just try. Oh, okay. Oh, I, I wouldn't want my two favorite snow hares to be stuck inside on such a lovely afternoon. <laughs> Oh, did you hear that? He said I was his favorite. No, he was talking about me. Oh, yeah, Okie dokie. Ah, here we go. Problem solved. Oh, oh my back. Ah, my back. Ah, this is not good. Gotta lie down. Uh, lie down. Oh, oh. Well, now what to do? 
Zig and Tigwak tried all kinds of things to move the ice, but nothing worked. And Sika and Tuck were getting crankier and crankier. Let us out! Let us out! Well, just then, Zerg arrived, wondering what all the hollering was about. Everyone explained the problem. I wish I could help, but I'm so small. I don't know what we're going to do. Unless... Unless what? Well, because I'm just a little ski boggin, I bet... Tickawack could hold my front end and, and keep me from moving. More work for me? Oh. And then one day, uh, well, then I could spin my treads really fast and rub the ice away. Oh, Zag, that's a great idea. Oh, yeah. So, Tigwack, grumbling the whole time, pushed against Zag's nose, and that kept his treads against the ice. Oh, okay. I suppose I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> it's working! <laughs> well, Zag's idea was quite brilliant. It didn't take long for Zag to completely rub the ice away. <laughs> hey! It worked! <laughs> oh, 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 Sika, come on! It's gone! We can leave! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> uh, we're free! Oh, thanks to you! Yeah. We never would have thought to rub away the eyes! <laughs> <laughs> you may be small, but uh, yeah. you're clever! <laughs> yeah, great work, Zag! Without you, we never could have gotten Tuck and Sika out! <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I haven't gotten big yet. Uh, but you've also shown that brains are more important than size! Well... <laughs> Luckily, I have both. <laughs> mm, bad move. Oh, oh, waving not good. Oh, oh. I guess it's not so bad being little after all. It's a good thing Zag just learned, and something we can all keep learning. No matter our size, shape, or age, there's always nifty things we can do that other folks can't. Now take me, for example. Okay, maybe I'm not such a great caribou after all, but here's one thing I can do way better than a caribou, and that's make a big blubbery noise like this. <laughs> I'd like to see some skinny little antler head try that. <laughs> well, that's my story. There is no more. I could tell it again, though you've heard it before. But remember when and what happened then? My favorite bit. But oh, that's it. Whimsical, wonderful, wintry, wumpaful, wonderful, wumpus world, a wumpa, wonderful. So I'll say goodbye, adios, and adieu, until my next story, just for you. A wonderful, wumpus world, whimsical, wonderful, wintry, wumpaful, wonderful, wumpus world. Well, bye-bye. And don't forget, always keep your tusk shiny and your blubber clean. Wonderful Wumpa's world. <laughs> <laughs>